Treasures and Trinkets by Lindsay Creates Gifts. I'm still Lindsay and today we're going to be looking at the Bargain Bead Box. Now this is under £20 a month, it's like £17 something a month and you, the, I'll show you the value that you get in the box in a minute, they have it at the bottom of their list and I wait <laughs> up to it can be quite a while after everybody else but sometimes it's not as long this time it wasn't nearly as long as everybody else i think maybe they were just still getting over the christmas shipping which isn't their fault so i don't mind i, I don't mind waiting because i feel it's such good value that it's worth the wait and maybe you do too and that's why you're here and you just want to see if perhaps Maybe you're still deciding, and coming here is going to help you decide whether you're going to get the box. So, let's have a look at it. This month, its theme is Spring Rain. Uh, your beads with ac rich aqua colours and antique copper findings, this month's collection invokes the refreshing rejuvenation of sp gentle spring rains. Highlights include bold addict. No, bold agate drops and a full strand of tiny faceted appetite rounds. Ooh, that's exciting. With a palette of aqua glass, crystal and gemstone beads in a variety of textures and finishes. Which sounds very interesting. Now, this is our list. You get a list and they tell you everything that is in your box. And that is what our um, box is said to value. Now, and it will, I suppose, cost you that because you can get most of these things on their sister website, which you do get a code for if you sign up. And that will last you the entire month. So, let's get stuck in. I've taken out the envelope because I felt that was quite noisy and quite cumbersome and it's a very small space. So I took it out and let's go. That was wrapped up a little differently this time. Oh, that looks so exciting already. Oh my gosh. That looks so pretty. I love this bag. I usually reuse these bags, but now I'm thinking I like this now. Right, I am going to go away, sort all these out, and then come back to you. And I'm back. So, I've laid it all out in order. I have my identification key, and we can go through it together. So, number one. Number one is this 36mm teardrop chandelier focal. Um, also on this they have a key which tells you if it's lead free, nickel free and cadmium free, which is also very handy if you make jewellery to sell like I do. And look at that. I really like that. There's so much detail in there. I can't wait to give that a go. It's so pretty. Lovely. That's our first one. Number two is some, it's one meter of steel jewelry chain and antique copper. And this is an antique copper color. And that's very pretty. It's very thin as well, which is nice. I don't, it's not thin whereas it's flimsy, but thin as in it sits on the Skin nice and smoothly. That was number two. Number three, we have two pieces of 30 by 21 millimeter fancy shield links. These are lead free and nickel free. Oh, they they got a little bit of weight to them, but they're very nice. I I would say I wouldn't want to use them as earrings, maybe because they're quite heavy but they're lovely I'm thinking maybe hmm I like those a lot actually they've got more weight oh there's a bit of grass oh dear I hope it's grass <laughs> but yes they're lovely I love those 
This is a 25 by 15 millimeter faceted aqua quartz teardrop pendant, and that is very pretty. I, uh, I wish I could catch. Maybe I can try. I'm gonna try catch some of the different. Can you see the veining in that, or the crackle? As well as the facets, the facets give it a nice sparkle, but I wonder if you can see the veins and the crackle inside that. That's very pretty. I can't find, wait to see what I can use that for. I love these natural stones. Natural stones are some of my absolute favourite. As well as a new love for crystal. <laughs> oh, I don't have any Swarovski yet. Um, here we go. This is four pieces of 26 by 17 millimeter chandelier findings. This is all very, you can see where the spring rain comes in. It's all about droplets and dangles. I can't, I really can't wait to give all this a go. So pretty. It's all coming together so nicely. And they do such a good job of that too. They really do. Such a good, I didn't realise I was putting all of that off screen, sorry guys. They really do do such a great job when they're matching these kits up. Oh, these are gorgeous. This is 10 pieces of 13.5 by 10.5 pressed glass leaf charms in aqua ombre. And these are beautiful. The, oh. Those are just stunning. It might be because I have a biased love for aqua. Excuse me, I stopped filming there. But these are just stunning. Oh, I can't wait to use those. Lovely. Next we have... These are pretty. This is a seven, oh, no it's not, it's number seven. This is a six inch strand of six by five millimeter top drilled glass rondelle beads in aqua shimmer. And these, my word, these are pretty. Oh, wow. I have no idea what I'm going to use these for, but I'm going to use a lot of them in one thing because together they look like bubbles. Oh, that's so pretty. They're lovely. I like those. Lovely. My partner the other day pointed out that I say lovely a lot. I'm sorry. I just think things are lovely. <laughs> uh, number eight. This is a seven out oh seven inch strand of four by three millimeter crystal rondelle beads in frosted aqua. These are interesting, actually. They're soft and faceted. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not bargain bead box's choice on what was done with these beads, but I'm not sure why you would faucet a matte bead. I thought the point of the faucet was for the sparkle, but they're interesting. I will use them. I will find something to do with them. Or maybe one day I'll get to the point where I can have a giveaway. Who knows? <laughs> Those will be the days. Next we have... Ooh, these are... These have got a weight to them. They are a 10 gram bag of 15 by 5 millimeter dagger drops. And these are metal. That's interesting. I was expecting them to be copper coloured glass. But they are metal. Nickel, lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. I like those. I can't wait to use those. I've seen a couple of people use dragon beads for uh, dragon beads, dagger beads for different things, and I'm interested to have a little play with them myself. So I'm glad I've got some of those to play with. Number ten is a 12 piece strand of 10 millimeter matte strip crystal round beads in blue green iris. Ooh, see, I kept seeing pictures of these because I keep going onto their sister site and dreaming of the day when I can justify 
the shipping for an actual order. <laughs> but I kept looking at these and I wasn't sure if I was going to like them, but they're so pretty. That's a really nice sparkle. They're a really clear bead in that sparkle. And that matte is quite a nice accent for that sparkle. It kind of gives it an electroplated look as well. I'm sure I will find a use for those. Lovely. Oh. Next we have, ah, oh, these, I was, oh, it's a 14 inch strand, 2 millimeter, finely faceted, natural appetite, gemstone round beads, and these are just gorgeous, I'm really excited that this seems to be a theme, these teeny tiny beads, because they are gorgeous. And I, I would love to keep getting more and more of these teeny tiny beads. They're the tiniest thing, honestly. I'm going to try and zoom in. There we go. Look at those. I've also found a new love for Appetite. I love the colour. But I haven't been able to justify buying any of my own. Look how pretty that is. Lovely colours. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I need to move that up a little bit. I'm going to run out of space. Right. Number 12. This is two pieces of 16 by 8 millimeter handmade porcelain oval beads in the colour Spring Rain. And these are so pretty. I'm actually really disappointed because one of mine is broken. Oh no. Hmm. I'll, I'll still be able to do something with that. I'll probably put it down. Oh, no, it's cracked on the other side. Oh, no. If, apparently, if you do contact customer services, they're really good at replacing things. But honestly, I, I don't want to put them through the trouble of sending me a little bead all that way. Or even if they replaced it, I did two. Sent, asking them to send it all that way. I don't want to put them through the hassle of that. And I still have this bead, which is still really nice. Lovely. Next is number 13, and this is 10 pieces of 12 by 6 millimeter crystal teardrop briolette beads in teal champagne. And my word, are they pretty? I have some random <laughs> sea beads in there also. Thank you for those. <laughs> I'll put those out of the way. But look at those, they are very sparkly and pretty, and I love the colors in there. Those will be lovely to put in anything, even if you used one on its own in a project, that would be beautiful. Lovely. And now we have number 14. And these are, is it, this is <laughs> a 10 gram bag of 5 by 4 millimeter fluted rondelle beads. I'm not sure what it means by fluted, maybe that's the design, but they are very pretty, and I I love getting spacer beads. They are always helpful to have. They fill up your necklaces and such um, without sacrificing design and flair. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, number 15. These are large, but they're gorgeous. This is five pieces of 32 by 38 millimeter agate top drilled drop beads in crackled aqua. And they're, oh my gosh, this one. I love that one. I'm, I'm gonna have to, that, that might be mine, guys. <laughs> no, you can't keep everything, Lindsay. <laughs> but my word, they're beautiful. I'm really happy to get those. I really like them. So much detail in those. I'm not sure what that is. But I will clean it. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. 
number 16. 10 inch strand of 6 millimeter stardust textured round glass beads blue ooh, beads blue green metallic and these are so pretty i don't think the camera's going to do them justice and honestly i'm not going to lie i was hoping for a couple more that were kind of broken like this because i think that's really pretty too actually i would use that as a focal bead in something because I just think that's gorgeous but these look at that shimmer I really don't think I'm doing them justice I wonder if I zoomed in if that would do them any justice hold on don't stop the video again Lindsay that, oh that's so much better that does do them a bit of justice look how pretty they are they're like stardusty kind of like, like it's almost like they're dusted with glitter but they're not they're so pretty they're beautiful can't wait to use those next is a bag this is 50 pieces of seven millimeter teardrop drops these are lead free nickel free and cadmium free and they're really handy to have. These remind me, actually, of, you know, most necklaces, when they have an extension chain, they have something like this on the end. So <laughs> that's probably what I would use those for. Like, that's just me, though. Other people might find other uses for them. But always handy to have something like that. There we are. I'm still running out of space. Oh, shove all that up there. So you get so much for the value, honestly. And this is 50 pieces of 5.5mm five, five, five bumpy star bead caps. These are also lead-free, lead nipple-free and cadmium-free. And these are really pretty. These are just like the silver ones that we got in the December bead box. But they're not definitely not exactly the same because I'm pretty sure these are smaller. But that's fine for me. Uh, that suits me to the ground but they're very pretty I like those and I will definitely use them to accentuate a bead lovely oh no I dropped one go back in there almost 49 pieces <laughs> oh here we go this is um do, do, three sets of 25 by 14 millimeter teardrop toggle clasps i don't know why i got all of them out really i only needed to get the one set out uh, there we are so that was that would sit something like that and that's very pretty it's still like matching everything else with the dots and the shape so it's still fitting the theme nicely which is what i like to see and I really, hmm, hmm, I like this. Next, number 20. Oh, these are cute. This is four pieces of 17 by 16 millimeter fan chandelier links. These are lead free and cadmium free. And these, oh, there's more glass. Oh no, Where's all, why do I keep having all this glass? Oh dear. Right. There. They are so cute. I can't wait to do something with these. I'm really not sure what yet, but I'm going to do something. Oh! Is that? Yeah, I was looking at the back even. That's even prettier. <laughs> Helps if you look at the right side, huh? <laughs> Lovely. Even They're cute. Lovely. Uh, number 21. 7 inch strand of 6mm crackle agate round beads in light aqua what's that DH ah permanently dyed and heat treated which is fine although that, that was the same for the agate as well which is fine I, I, well, I guessed that so these are um, heat treated and dyed permanently dyed But that is absolutely fine by me because look how pretty they are see i don't mind having heat treated and such stuff what i mind is not knowing about it 
Oh, it's being done with this awesome thing. This is so pretty. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't even think... I don't think I'll be using this for anything rain-themed. This feels more beachy to me, but that's just me. That's gorgeous. Lovely. And last, definitely not least, a 14 and a half strand, 14 and a half inch strand of 8 millimeter quartz round beads in aqua waves. These are dyed, permanently dyed, which again, with that colour, I sort of expect that from a Maggie. But they are gorgeous in their own right. All you can see is my ring light. How annoying. <laughs> Let's zoom in, see if you can see me from here. Right, so if we zoom in, yes, you can see the crackle in there. See how it glitters? It's so pretty. I do love crackle beads. Lovely. They are just so stunning and such a lovely colour, honestly. Sometimes I worry that I don't do any of this justice. I've got a big open bright window and a light. But I still worry that I don't do half this stuff justice. So, there we go. There is our bargain beer box for February. And those are some lovely colours, are they not? Look at that. I can't wait to put some of this stuff together. I'm going to have, like looking at it, I'm going to have a quick look. See if we can make anything out of this today. Hello everyone. So I'm back and I've decided what I'm going to do. And this bit, the reason I did this off camera is because it's incredibly fiddly. It would have just taken a long time. So I thought it's better to explain it to you. But um, these links on here actually come apart. So you don't need anything to do that particular bit with. But what you will need for this project at your own stash is a small piece of 28 gauge wire and some 26 gauge wire. Uh, that's pretty much all you're going to need actually to, to complete this. Maybe a couple of copper jump rings up there when you're done. But I do have a lot of those made up ready. I don't know if everybody does. <laughs> but there you go. That's what you'll be needing from your own stash. So some copper jump rings, one copper jump ring, a small piece of 28 gauge and some 26 gauge. Now let us begin. So what I did here was I like I said pre did this so it wasn't as confusing and it didn't take as long. So here I have 20 links, 16 links, 10 links and 6 links. Just to keep things even, okay? Just to keep that even full. I'm going to have this in the middle here. I'm going to attempt to use an appetite stopper bead. I've done this before, but we will see how it goes. I'm not sure how it's going to work out on video. So what I might do is do that first. So then I know if we're going to have any issues with it. So what you want to do get your bead. You want to start at the bottom. So you want to go about halfway. It's halfway through your small piece. What did I get here? About 10 centimetres? Maybe 10 centimetres, 28 gauge. Go about there. And we're starting at the bottom. So we take this piece. We take our... Oh, I'm all the way over there. So we take our end piece, our end cap, Pop it up there, and now I'm going to use one of these teeny tiny appetite beads as a stopper, kind of like I would ooh, if I was using a needle and thread. But you will need to bend it a certain way first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend the wire out. Like that, so the bead is out like that, and then push this one back through. 
the first beat. So, like that. And you just want to go slowly so you can guide that appetite bead to sit exactly where you want it. You're wanting to start turning around so you want to bend this one out a little bit because you want it to pop right in place and you also want to be careful you don't break your bead like that so you have a little stop bead like that okay I've remembered to put my bead cap on, right? And also, I'm going to go ahead and decide, ignore what I said about making a loop. You don't need to make a loop because we're going to be fitting it in here anyway. So, grab this end that you've just looped and just wrap it around a couple of times. If you need to put it away like that, then that's fine. But this is going to be the easiest way, like that just grabbing the bead quite gently because you don't want to break anything and just wrapping it around a couple of times to make it nice and sturdy Because it's 28 gauge, you really want to make sure you get a good, good wrap around. Make it nice and secure, because obviously 28 gauge isn't going to be the most, the thickest one. So, wrap that round a couple of times. One moment, sorry. There we are, so we want to come close and we trim that wire that we've just been wrapping like that. Give it a little smush down. And we're going to use the other wire just to make sure we don't miss anything. We're going to wrap that the other way, which I think is that way. So the opposite of the way to what we just went. Oh, now I got caught. You don't want to get caught, you want to watch out for that because you want your work to be nice and neat at the top here. And then trim that. So we've cut that quite a few times now. There we go. Lovely. And that'll sit like that. Oh, that's worked out quite lovely. I like that. <laughs> I would. I'm allowed to. Yeah, I'm like and now we're moving on to the 26 gauge. And for this 26 gauge, you want to get yourself a fair length because we're going to be doing quite a bit of wrapping. So I'll say 20 centimeters. I would get. And we're going to take our brioche put it through and we're going to do a simple briole wrap which is we bring that up we do our loop on one side and then I wrap it round there like that so I have that and I trim this off smush it down like so and then this long bit we're going to take it from the top it might be easier if you grab the loop actually stop the loop turning so much and you're just going to wrap all the way down like this and you take your time you should get a very lovely neat wrap all the way down like that 
to where the holes are so we can cover that up. Like so. Then when you get to the that point, you want to do this neat little curve up to the top, like so, and just wrap a couple more times around the top and finish there. Now what I was going to do is attach it straight to here but that does make things more difficult if I do that and when I can open up these chain links I really don't see the point in making life more difficult for myself. So we're going to grab that. We're going to open it up. Oop. We're going to open it up. We're going to stop on, start on our first relay like so. Okay, so we're going to do that exact same thing with the other briolets and the daggers and then meet me back here. And I'm back. So I've added my briolets and my daggers in the exact same ways. Now for what I decided to do for these was to do something kind of similar but not really. So if you take maybe 10 centimetres of 26 gauge. Thread on one appetite, one of your frosted fastened beads and another teeny tiny appetite. If I can find it, there we go. Take your pieces like that. So you've got an appetite, a frosted and an appetite. Bend, bend, bend into this lovely little shape. Try and keep it as even as you can. Like so. Well, kind of like so. One moment, pull that over a little bit more. There we go. So, we're, we're doing the exact same thing, kind of. <laughs> so we're getting that. We're looping around, like so. We're going to take this and we're going to go around once, like that. Stick it back in. Well, like that. Stick it back in. Loop this one around and do the exact same thing. Hold. Bring it round. Well, I didn't quite curve it enough one moment. Bring it round. And wrap. Okay, and then we just come round and we cut these bits off. And give it a little smush because we don't want sharp edges. Smush the sharp edges away and that's ready to add to here. Just like we did with the briolets and the daggers. We're doing these in the exact same way. Open it up. Be a bit more patient because you've got two wires to go on here so it's a little thicker. Like so. And then swizzle, swizzle. Like so. And there's our pendant. Finished. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning in my opinion. Let's lay it oh gosh. Smacking you about. Let's lay it on the back of my hand like that for you. Look how beautifully dangly. I think that's very spring rainy, don't you? Beautiful. If I do say so myself. Gorgeous. Let's see if I can oh there's no point in zooming in. There was our project for the day, and of course, if you want to put, you can put it on any type of chain. You can put it on this chain with a jump ring. You could put it on a cord chain with a jump ring. 
see what I mean by I fall in love with everything. So gorgeous. Uh, hopefully you'll join me again for future videos. Um, we'll sit down and do something else together. We'll get on with our bead embroidery project. I think I will end up releasing the two videos because I may as well, to be perfectly honest. Right, no point in holding back, is there? So, I'm glad you could join me. I had fun making this. And I hope you will have fun with all of your products too. Thank you very much. Bye. Mm -hmm.